African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the Special Military Operation on the 20th of September, 2023. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the Special Military Operation. In Donetsk direction, the U Group of Forces, supported by aviation and artillery, repelled five attacks by assault groups of the 3rd Assault Brigade, the 53rd and 110th Mechanized Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces close to Kleshchevka, Veseloy, and Kimik, Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy's losses were up to 175 Ukrainian troops, one tank, one armored fighting vehicle, and three pickup trucks. In counter-battery warfare, the Russian troops hit one U.S.-made M777 artillery system, one Polish-made Krab self-propelled artillery system, and one D-30 howitzer. In Zaporizhzhia direction, units of the Russian group of forces supported by helicopters, artillery, and heavy flamethrower systems repelled three attacks by the armed forces of Ukraine's 71st Jaeger Brigade close to Verbovoy, Zaporizhzhia region. Also, a cluster of manpower and hardware of the 116th Mechanized Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine near the locality of Sharivnoi, Zaporizhzhia region, was hit by fire. Up to 35 Ukrainian troops, two armored fighting vehicles, and two motor vehicles were eliminated. In counter-battery warfare, the Russian troops hit one U.S.-made M109 Paladin self-propelled howitzer, one Akatsiya self-propelled artillery system, two D-30 and one D-20 howitzers. In Krasny Lyman direction, well-coordinated actions of the Center Group of Forces, strikes by Army Aviation and Artillery Fire repelled two attacks by assault groups of the 63rd and 67th Mechanized Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces near Chervenaya Dybrova, Lugansk People's Republic. Also, close to Torskoy, Donetsk People's Republic, and the Serebransky Forestry, the Russian troops inflicted fire damage on clusters of manpower and hardware of the 63rd Mechanized Brigade, the 12th Special Forces Brigade, and the 5th Brigade of the Ukrainian National Guard. Up to 70 Ukrainian servicemen were killed and wounded, two armored fighting vehicles, two pickup trucks, and D-30 howitzers were neutralized. In South Donetsk direction, the Vostok Group of Forces, in cooperation with aviation and artillery, repelled one attack of an assault detachment of the Armed Forces of Ukraine 110th Territorial Defense Brigade in the direction of Pryetnoi, Zaporizhzhia region. Airstrikes and artillery fire defeated manpower and hardware of the 79th Air Assault and 72nd Mechanized Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces close to Novomikolovka and Vladimirovka, Donetsk People's Republic. In addition, the activities of a sabotage and reconnaissance group of the Ukrainian Armed Forces 38th Marines Brigade were suppressed near the village of Novodonetskoy, Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy's losses for the day totaled up to 135 Ukrainian servicemen killed and wounded, two pickup trucks, and one Stabi howitzer. In Kupan's direction, aviation and artillery of the Zapad Group of Forces inflicted fire damage on manpower and hardware of the 14th, 32nd Mechanized, and 25th Air Assault Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine close to Zagorokovka, Ivanovka, Kharkov Region, Rozovka, and Berestovoy, Lugansk People's Republic. Over 65 Ukrainian troops, two motor vehicles, and one U.S.-made M-1097 Avenger anti-aircraft missile system were neutralized. In counter-battery warfare, the Russian troops hit one M-109 Paladin self-propelled howitzer, two U.S.-made M-777 artillery systems, and one D-20 howitzer. An ammunition depot of the Armed Forces of Ukraine 120th Territorial Defense Brigade has been obliterated close to Gatish, Kharkov region. In Kherson direction, for sabotage and reconnaissance groups of the Armed Forces of Ukraine Special Operations Forces close to Kazatskoy, Kherson region, and the islands of Alyoshkinsky and Periaslavsky were eliminated. 
The enemy's losses were over 60 Ukrainian servicemen, one armored fighting vehicle, and four motor vehicles. Also, two U.S.-made M777 artillery systems and one D-30 howitzer were hit during counter-battery warfare. Operational Tactical and Army Aviation, Missile Troops and Artillery of the Russian Groups of Forces have engaged armed forces of Ukraine manpower and hardware in 126 areas during the day. In addition, the command and observation post of a battalion of the 72nd Mechanized Brigade, Armed Forces of Ukraine, near Ugladar, Donetsk People's Republic, and the temporary deployment area of the 35th Marines Brigade, Armed Forces of Ukraine, near Petropavlovka, Donetsk People's Republic, were hit. Fighter jets of the Russian Aerospace Forces intercepted one Su-24M bomber of the Ukrainian Air Force close to Novovlodomorovka, Nikolaev region. A Ukrainian MiG-29 fighter jet has been hit by a drone strike at the Dolgensivo airfield, Dnepropetrovsk region. Air defense and electronic warfare systems and small arms fire intercepted for storm shadow long-range cruise missiles and 5MRs and Smirch MLRS projectiles. Moreover, 42 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles were down close to Nagarnoi, Golovka, Mykolovka, Donetsk People's Republic, Belogorovka, Karamzinovka, Volchirovka, Lugansk People's Republic, Novogorovka, Novoy, and Mernoy, Zaporizhzhia region, Podstepnoy, and Kozachi Lagaru, Kherson region. In total, 475 airplanes and 249 helicopters, 6,945 unmanned aerial vehicles, 438 air defense missile systems, 12,009 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 1,152 combat vehicles equipped with MLRS, 6,462 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 13,262 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.